everybody, it's Shannon with Sparkle and Shine Health and Fitness. And tonight I'm jumping on to share with you in the next in my Germ Buster series about RSV. And I have my Germ Buster cat here next to me um, who likes to join me and usually be annoying. Um, but the two of us are going to share with you tonight a little bit about RSV. Um, and as an infection control nurse, this is something that we do see usually this time of year. Um, and so I thought it'd be good to talk a little bit about. Um, so what is RSV? It's a virus and it's a respiratory infection. Um, it's like having a bad cold and it is very contagious. Um, there has been a lot of RSV going around in the state. Um, we haven't seen a whole lot here in Chase County where we live, but there has been some going around. So it's just, just good to kind of know what the symptoms are, what to watch for, what to do. Um, and for most of us, um, regular adults that are healthy, it's just going to be like a cold and we're not going to have a lot of problems. But the concern is for those little babies um, and the elderly that can get really sick with it, okay? Um, so RSV is respiratory, like I said, and um, it attacks the nose, the eyes, the throat, the lungs, just like all these colds do this time of year. And it's spread by coughing, sneezing, sharing drinks, right? Um, and you can get it over and over again. Um, so the main symptoms that, that um, are for RS, RSV are you have a cough, a stuffy or runny nose, you can have a sore throat, an earache, um, a fever, um, and then the babies, those are the ones that get the, sick, the sickest with it, and they can get really fussy, they cannot eat, they can be really, really tired. Um, so it's really important to watch in those babies. If the babies start wheezing, it's really important to contact your provider and probably have them seen, especially if they start having trouble breathing at all. Um, and how is RSV diagnosed? Um, it's usually just diagnosed by a physician or a provider in the clinic um, by the symptoms. Most of them kind of know if it's that time of year, if they've been seeing it, it's going around in the area, and it's diagnosed that way. They can run tests on it to check for, it, for RSV if they need to, but generally it's just diagnosed. Um, so what to do if you have RSV, the treatment? Um, those little kiddos, you really have to prop them up so it's easier for them to breathe and sleep at night. They usually get worse at night. Um, you know, those little bulb syringes that you have for those little babies, you can suction out the airways and keep them open to help them breathe because um, they have lots of difficulty breathing with RSV. Um, Tylenol, Motrin. Um, usually most people will get over RSV in a week or two, including those little babies. Um, there's a high-risk group, the elderly and those um, NICU babies, those babies that are born early, some that have um, health problems, complications, those are the ones that we really want to protect from RSV because they can get really sick and end up in the hospital with it. Um, so just prevent the spread of RSV, kind of like everything I've been talking about. It's all respiratory. It's really important to wash your hands, wash, wash, wash. Um, there's lots of coughing and sneezing, and so, you know, cover those areas with a um, Kleenex. Wash your hands after you cough. Wash your hands after you sneeze. Um, if you don't have anything to cough into, cough into your sleeve to help prevent the spread of the RSV. Um, avoid close contact with anybody that's sick. Um, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Um, and then just really taking care of those contaminated surfaces, wiping down surfaces, um, especially when those little kids are sick to help um, prevent spread to the other siblings. So these are kind of just the basics for RSV that I wanted to share with you tonight. Um, and I hope you all have a healthy rest of the winter, early spring. There still is some RSV going around, so just be careful out there. Um, watch for those symptoms, take those precautions, and help keep those kids safe. Thanks for joining everybody. Have a great Wednesday night.